there, hi members, I'm from Russia and recently I've watched too much YouTube and mostly I watch American YouTubers but recently I came across several Russian YouTubers and it's quite a better looking thing because of the one uh, recent interview of uh, Yuri Dud uh, who was interviewing Nastya Ibleyeva who happens to be a Viner and a YouTuber. I actually didn't know that uh, there are any Viners in Russia and unfortunately I searched for some of her Vines and I was disappointed. I mean, how you can compare girls like uh, Nastya Ivleyeva and Ida Galic to their really masterful pieces of uh, great humor by uh, The Gabby Show, Thomas Sanders, uh, even Liza Koshi, as well as the whole quantity of YouTube videos uh, uh, you can't actually compare them. But of course I know that uh, YouTube there and uh, creators who work in America, they've made this their career and uh, they usually put a lot of effort into that. Again, just think about uh, Lily Singh, who is hustling hard during every day and uh, she puts lots of work and effort into what she's doing and to get some profit out of it, obviously. And it's quite usual when YouTubers in America uh, started uh, making videos like 5-8 years ago. Since then they've become really popular and uh, they've been going on tour throughout America and uh, some people go up even abroad. Uh, again, remember the scene. And here we have, uh, I think we actually have just uh, only Daniel Poperechny, at least uh, who I know about, who was a YouTuber and who is a YouTuber and who went on tour. And I was really surprised when I found out that people were not taking him seriously. I mean, his humor is not uh, to my liking personally, but tastes deeper. I mean, I don't like many of the American comedians as well, but uh, everyone has their own audience. Just, it's quite natural that Popirechny uh, gathered stadiums and uh, it's not unusual. What is actually unusual is the fact that he's, uh, I guess, the only one who managed to do this. They say that uh, Russia is uh, far behind Europe and uh, this difference is about five years. Someone also says that uh, the difference between Moscow and uh, the rest of Russia is also several years. Well, let's hope that Russian entertainment industry will actually grow and uh, catch up with the rest of the world. Guys, we have one of the cheapest access to the internet uh, in the world. Providers can give us uh, data plans uh, for some petty cash. So let's just uh, make some quality content and work on it. And I actually truly believe that uh, in several years we might catch up with the rest of the world unless the world moves forward and uh, creates something else. Let's see how will YouTube do in five years. That's actually a thing that uh, has been bothering for um, the past weeks and uh, more and more people are talking about it. So I hope that uh, we will somehow change the minds of uh, people in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Do you have any questions about Russia or maybe comments on the same topic? Leave them in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel as usual and do the rest of the stuff you people on the internet do. See ya!